Vera, 30 years old, three years older than the Motown phenom. Oli Vera, one inch taller at five feet, 10 inches tall. Kevin Lee did miss weight by two and a half pounds. He enjoys a three inch reach advantage. Setting the table one final time tonight for our main event, Joe Martinez. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, live from Gimnasio Nilson Nelson here in the capital city of Brasilia, Brazil. This is the main event of the evening. Five rounds of action this scheduled in the UFC lightweight division. Sanctioned by the Brazilian Athletic Commission of MMA, the executive director in attendance, Cristiano Sampao. Your three judges scoring at octagon side. Mike Bell, Guermi Bravo, and Sal D'Amato. And when the action begins inside the octagon, your referee in charge, Mike Beltran. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are ready. The fighters are ready. Fight fans watching live around the world. Here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner standing five feet, 10 inches tall. He weighed in officially 156 pounds, and this veteran holds a professional record of 28 victories, eight defeats, and one no contest, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Here is Charles Dubrox Oliveira. And across the octagon, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. His background is wrestling and boxing. At five feet, nine inches tall, he weighed in 158 and one half pounds. In 23 professional fights, his record, 18 victories and five defeats. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, by way of the Motor City of Detroit, Michigan, USA. Here is the number eight rated lightweight contender in the world, Kevin, the Motown. Phenom Lee! Ah! And your referee once again with the final instruction, Mike Beltran. All right, John, been over the rules already. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves now if you want. At the sound of the bell, come on out. Handle your business. Let's go. Mike Beltran says, handle your business. Charles Oliveira is ready to do that. 5-0 and in the UFC in his native Brazil's Charles Oliveira. Kevin Lee, meanwhile, has never lost abroad. Two wins early in his career north of the border. Two wins in the UFC outside the country. Our fight clock is brought to you by Dave and Busters. Straight away, straight away, Charles coming in with the unorthodox strikes. I mean, that's the thing. He's got jumping front kicks, flying knees, spinning wheel kicks. I mean, he, he does not stick to the rule book. He landed a nice jab as well already. Hey, look at that. Off that the connected. ground again. That connected nicely. Oliver has not wasted time on his six fight win streak. He has ended all of them inside the distance. His last one in the first round, two before that in the second round. He is a bonus machine. Leaps in with a left hook there. Five performance of the night bonuses in his last six fights, six in his last eight for Charles Oliveira. Really nice job there that Charles is using as well, utilizing that reach advantage. But there's the right hand from Kevin Lee. That's what you've got to be careful of. Kevin does pack a lot of power. Charles doing a really good job mixing things up there, going to the leg, throwing the jab, coming with knees and jumping attacks. Lee with a nice jab and then a one-two. Opens He's himself up down. for a single leg though. Kevin gets on top. Nicely done. Watch this. Watch those ankles. He trying to get it out. Imam Oliveira with a hold of it for now. He needs to get it to the other side, but now we're looking at an inverted heel hook. Kevin wisely does that, but now he can go to a regular heel hook. He's got to suck that leg out. His right leg out of danger just for a moment. Hammer fist from the bottom there from Oliveira. Nice scramble there by Kevin Lee, and a lot made for the jiu-jitsu of Charles Oliveira, and why not? He is a black belt, all-time submissions leader, but Kevin Lee, a decorated wrestler in his own right. Yeah, nicely defended by Kevin. You see, Charles is still looking for a foot, but he's also thinking about taking the back. And right on cue, there it is. He's going to hold on to him there, because right now he can't secure this position. He needs the legs wrapped around him. So Lee out of danger for the moment. Oliveira was loading up the right elbow, but only the back of the head exposed by Kevin Lee. 
He's trying to get that left out. Oh, nicely done, Kevin. Almost into mount. So Lee now steps over. But still cautious here with his leg locked up now. Once again, going for the inverted try. Uh, sorry, pardon me, heel hook. Halfway through the first of five possible Ooh, rounds but here. This is what you got to be careful of. I mean, it's the oldest saying in the book be careful when you go for heel hooks, but you got to be careful when you go for heel hooks. Lee now trying to escape this one. Yeah, Lee's pretty much out here. It's kind of a, just a formality. Charles is holding on to him. Fish from the bottom once again from Oliveira. Two minutes to go in the first round. This is a really good confidence builder for Kevin. He got taken down in the first round. Charles tried a number of techniques. And Kevin was able to defend them all. So that's, that's a very good positive sign. Maybe he'll let loose with a strike and a little bit more in round two. If he makes it to round two, of course. If Charles makes it to round two. Each of these guys capable at ending the fight at any time. Yep. Okay, so Lee's out for the triangle. leg is now out of danger, but yeah, in the full guard of Charles Oliveira, not necessarily the safest place to be. He's got that arm isolated on the right side. He's letting go now, but see, he's trying to bring the legs over, trying to get the triangle. There it is. Kevin knew it was coming. The out of danger there. And now another scramble, and now Oliveira on top. Kevin still on the back here. Yeah, you know, the jiu-jitsu of Charles Oliveira is just absolutely beautiful to watch. I mean, the moves that he pulls off, and he just makes it look absolutely effortless, which is the key to good jiu-jitsu. I mean, the skill level is insane. He's not using strength. He's just flowing. Look at that. Throwing the triangle up. Kevin brings the left arm in, which removes the threat of the triangle. Nicely done. And so now top control here from Lee. So far on the ground, though, it's just Lee defending submission attack after submission attack. He's landed a couple of hammer fists, a couple of strikes here and there, but nothing too significant. Kevin trying to pass. Lee postured up for a moment. And right leg now out of the grasp. Heavy shots. Big right hands. Oliveira eats him, throws the legs back up again to get back full guard. Final 10 seconds coming up here around one. <laughs> Heavy elbows from Lee. Nice work. 30 second break here. We're back on ESPN with round two after this. I want you to catch your error. Listen, he shot on you because he can't take it. Okay? Look at me. He shot on you because he can't take it. You could take his shots, he can't take yours. You hear me? He shot on you. That wasn't his game plan. Yes. He shot on you because he can't fucking take it. Okay? Okay. I want you to keep the pressure, but counter his kicks. Now he's slower now. Okay? He's yeah. not fresh now. Counter his kicks. If he tries to leg lock you, stand up over him. But bend over. Don't be like this. Okay? Stand up like this, like a nice power position and hit him. Unseparate his feet, okay? Separate his feet if he's trying Welcome to leg back, lock listening into the corner of Kevin him, Lee. Separating his feet. You're standing over him, separating his feet. Do the oh, fantastic. That's your okay. round. You got four more, baby. Four more. He can't take four of these. He can't take four. You see Charles coming in with that jumping kick. A couple of ground and pound punches connected at the end. They were solid ones as well. Good connection. And now back in, ready for round number two between these lightweights. Kevin Lee inside the top ten. Charles Oliveira wants to get there. Ready fight. Hey, let's go. Kevin Lee in the black. A minus 150 favorite here. Charles Oliveira plus 120 at home in Brazil. That was a really strong way for Kevin to finish. You know, he defended multiple attacks, landed a good right hand there. Defended multiple submission attacks and ended in the guard landing heavy shots. That sends a message to Charles. He said, listen, you ain't going to get me. You're going to have to fight me the old-fashioned way, which is on the feet. And Charles, typically, when he gets those finishes, he gets them early in the fight. They don't really come. Whoa! Big right hand there for Kevin Lee. Yeah, nice combination there. Much of the point for Azahar Harvey saying, listen, he can't take your shots. They didn't think the game plan of Oliveira was to take him down, but that Charles chose to do so after he felt the power of Kevin Lee. Meanwhile, Oliveira lands there. Yeah, I was going to say, it's Charles that's pushing forward here, landing some decent shots. Little left hook there, lands, And a good right as well. And then an uppercut to lead that exchange for Oliveira, who continues to work that right hand. And this is the kind of fight Kevin Lee likes. He's happy to stand in the pocket and trade like this. 
body kick that time as Oliveira getting busy here in the early going around number uppercut. two. Look at that. Uppercut, uppercut buckles Lee. To the right hand, double right hand there. Beautiful work. Lee's moving the head because he needs to. I think he's hurt. Pump out the jab, comes over the top with the right, does Lee. Charles is looking comfortable here, and Kevin, the body language, the look on his face, is not in a good place right now. He's eating some heavy shots. He's backing up, trying to buy some time. And Charles is growing in confidence here, wow. starting to mix it up. And Kevin's giving him the time. He's giving him the time to take his time and pick his shots and to use the full arsenal of attacks. Well, Lee lands with a right hand here, so too does Oliveira. Yeah, Charles just ate that though and fired back straight away. But Kevin's look a little loose on the feet and it's him that goes for the takedown, which is kind of like the exact opposite of what Farrar said in the middle of the round. Right. And there's the arm bar, it's tight. Trying to lock up that right arm He's of Lee. To to an Plata there. Nicely defended there, I thought that was going to be the end and now we've got a triangle. Kevin's right into the triangle, he let it go, he re-established re it. Weird transition there, he let it go. Thought he was going to go to an Oma Plata, but... Well done for Kevin. He has the body lock here as he returns to his feet. Oliveira unable nice. to fend him off and another takedown by Lee. Nicely done, done there by Kevin. Very, very good work. He's on top here, good position. And half guard. Oliveira slowed down a little bit as well. If you can see the movement and the submission attempts. It's not like he was in the first round, you know. That does require a lot of energy. Lee, top half guard here with two minutes to go. Getting the shoulders involved here as he looks to stay busy enough to keep the fight on the ground. And Lee landed that first takedown in this round at the perfect time when Oliveira was throwing a knee. Got himself just enough off balance for Lee to put him to his back. Two for two, unofficially on takedowns for Kevin Lee. Yeah, again, like the first round, Kevin's doing a good job now. He's controlling him, slowing him down. As, as, as I said a moment ago, Charles isn't throwing up the wild submission attacks like he were before. They're both eating some shots. They've both got that initial adrenaline spike that's kind of, you know, calmed down a little bit now. And now we're into a strategic fight. One which now Kevin is slowly starting to take over in round two. More than a round of ground control time for Kevin Lee as we approach one minute to go around number two. And now head position to keep Uli better right where he wants him. And Lee content to kind of keep that right leg put. You know, we've seen people beat Charles Oliveira like this. I mean, think of the win that Paul Felder had, you know? Sat in the guard, guard beat him up with elbows, played it, I mean, him at his own game on the ground, and won a decision, but here we go. Kevin Lee's getting off some good shots here. He's looking for the up kick or a, a heel hook, I think. Hammer fist from the bottom from Oliveira. Final 20 seconds, round number two. Nice elbows. <laughs> Yeah, the movement is definitely a lot different at the end of round two than what it was in one. That's got to favor Kevin Lee going into round three. Ten minutes are in the books. We're going to keep it right here on ESPN and ESPN Plus to listen into the corners. Espira? Try Espira. Bicho, esquece isso. Ó, ele tava semi nocauteado. Você já tentado para baixo, para o estado do jogo ele estava morto. Então faz o seguinte, vamos trabalhar mais perna. A luta é sua, vitória é sua, bicho. This is your fight. Deus sabe todas as coisas. It's your victory. Deus sabe todas as coisas. God knows everything. Você está ganhando a luta. You're winning the fight. Tá, você está ganhando a luta. You gotta get him. Take him down. Here we see a beautiful uppercut for Oliveira and then followed it up with the right hand immediately. There it is, uppercut, and then now we're going to wait for the takedown from Lee. Nice front kick, and there it is. Steps to the side, boom, slams him down. Nice work by Kevin. 
Not as much strategy there coming from Charles Oliveira. Round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of UFC. Strategy from the corner, that is. Yeah. Red fight. Yeah, they're just more imploring him, trying to encourage him, telling him that he's going to win, that he won that round. I'm not sure if he did, to be honest. But again, a confident start by Oliveira. He loves that jump in front of him. He certainly does. Meanwhile, Kevin Lee lets the head kick go that time. And busy on the feet are each of these guys to start round three. Haymaker from Lee. Yeah, that right hand is connecting every time. Oh, going to watch that neck. Now this Kevin is Lee bad. Cut down. This is bad. Here. He's going to... Oliveira oh, forces is. the tap. Charles Oliveira, another submission. He extends the record. The biggest win of his career comes tonight. Wow. Yes, you did. Watch the video. Just you tapped. that quickly. And Kevin but Lee... That is unsure of what happens. Yeah, Kevin Lee is arguing, saying that he never tops. I beg to differ, unfortunately. The tape shows that he definitely did top. Let's take a look at the replay. So Kevin goes in, he lands the right hand, and he's trying to mix things up, grabs that leg, drives in for the single, trying to switch it to a double. But Charles, obviously, this is what he does. He takes the neck, he wraps it up, he gets full guard, and that was under the chin. And here it is, hold on. There's the tap. I mean, th th there's no arguing there. There's no discussion. There is absolutely no discussion there. There's like five or six taps. And Kevin is like, no, 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 no. I'm trying to take his back. But that is not what happened. There was a clear tap. I get it. He's frustrated. But Charles Oliveira, my word. And now respect shown from these two guys. But Charles Oliveira has now won seven straight fights. He's finished all of them. None bigger than this, and he will find himself in the top 10 of the lightweight division when the next set of rankings come out. What a performance. He wanted an unforgettable week, and he certainly got one. Third round submission for Charles Dubronx Oliveira. Inside the octagon to make it official one final time is Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. 28 seconds. Round number three, the submission by Guillotine for your winner from Sao Paulo, Brazil, Charles Dubrox Oliveira.